Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to the day 6 of 30 days 30 concepts of Flutter and till the previous parts we have covered a lot of things and in this part we will be covering about a dismissible package that's an inbuilt Flutter package and that's very important and first of all if you are new on this channel you can like my videos and subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on the social media links I really post some amazing stuff on my Instagram page which can be very useful for you right so in this dismissible package, if you want to see the best example, go to Gmail and see your emails, right? The picture is little blur, but you can see that in the Gmail also, you can swipe the container right or you can swipe the container to the left and you can perform some actions. As you can see in this uh, image, uh, if uh, the person uh, is swiping to the right, then he can delete this message. And if the person is swiping to the left, then he can archive this message or uh, save this message, right? So instead of wasting more time, let's go to my VS code and start coding this package and start uh, understanding what this package mean. So let's go. So now I'm on my VS code and you can see that in the last part, we were studying about this snack bar. So if you have not accessed that playlist, please do it. And it's a wonderful series for beginners, especially. And now let's create a new file in the widgets. Let's call it dismissible.dart. Dismissible.dart. And let me just complete the main uh, importing statements and defining a stateless widget. Let me just do it fastly. And I know that you already know all these things because we have covered these things many of times. Uh, dismissible widget. And yes, now let's define a simple scaffold, the app bar, the app bar. Then let's give it a title, text widget. I'll give it dismissible, dismissible package. Now let's save it and in the main dot dot we have to return dismissible package or oh sorry dismissible widget, dismissible widget. Yeah, let's save it. And you can see that simple app bar with the title dismissible packages shown. So let's go to dismissible dot dot. Mm, yes, and let's start defining it. So as you know that for dismissible, we need a certain amount of containers. We need a list of containers, right? So uh, we have already studied about list views and grid views in the, I think in day four, right? So you can access that video and uh, for defining a list view, we have to define a simple list so that we don't need to define list style again and again and again, right? So over here, let me just make it state full widget so that whenever I push it to left and push it to right, it should be deleted or it should be saved, right? So I have to make this stateless widget as state full widget. So now I have made this widget as a state full widget instead of stateless widget. Now let's define a list. So over here in this class, I'm going to define a list of strings and I'll call it fruits. So in this, let's give it some fruit names. Let's give it orange. Then let's give it an apple. Then a mango. Let's give it a, let's give it grapes. And the last fruits, let's give it a banana. And now we have to return in this body, a simple list view. So let's go to scaffold and in the body i'm going to return a list view dot builder so we use list view dot builder when the list is dynamic when we don't have a fixed amount of content fixed length of the list then we use list view dot builder right and it is easy to work with list view dot builder uh, than list view because we don't have to write the same child again and again if we are using the same widget right so first of all instead of item builder i'll define an item count and item count will be fruits dot length and then i'll define the item builder in the item builder i will define a context i'll define an index and then i'm going to return a dismissible so dismissible and in this dismissible first of all we have to define a key then we have to define a child so in this key we have to define a key for defining the key we have to define a variable called final let's name it fruit and fruit is nothing but fruits add index right 
So my fruit will be what? My fruit will be the particular fruit at a particular index. So in this key, you have to give this fruit or you can say the list content, list item, right? And in this child, you can define any container. We will define it. But first of all, uh, let's give it one more parameter to this dismissible that is on dismissed. What I want to do when the list item is dismissed towards right or towards left, right? So in this dismissed, it takes a direction. And to this direction, we can provide, uh, we can like write, we can write the condition if it is from start to end direction or it is from end to start. So first of all, I will define if direction is equal to is equal to dismiss direction, dismiss direction dot start to end, right? Then what I want to do, I want to show a scaffold messenger that is snack bar that we have covered in the last part. That is scaffold messenger dot of context dot show snack bar and the snack bar let's say we have to give a snack bar inside it snack bar and the content of this snack bar is going to be a simple text and the text i want to name it names uh, sorry fruits at index so whatever fruit will be there at a particular index that fruit name will be printed and then you can also provide it a background color so let's give it so after this fruits we can give the background color let's give it colors dot red and then provide a simple semicolon and let me also word wrap it so you can see the complete file yes so you can see what i'm doing first of all instead of defining a simple card or container i'm defining a dismissible in this dismissible i'm also defining on dismiss which takes a direction so if i'm uh, starting from if i'm dismissing from start to end that means i'm uh, swiping towards right that is start to end then what i want to do i want to print in the scaffold that is in a snack bar the fruit name which is there at that list style and the background color i want to keep it red right so this was my dismiss direction so now let's define the else part that means if i am dismissing towards end to start that means i am defining i am swiping towards end to start uh, towards left so what i want to do i'll define an else and in the else i will define the same thing so let's just copy it let's just paste it and uh, this will also take that fruit name but this time i want to keep it green so that you can see the difference if i'm uh, swiping towards left and if i'm swiping towards right now we have defined a key now we have to define a simple child so in this child you have to give the list tile so you can give a list tile and in this list tile you know that it takes a title so let's give a title as fruits at index, right? Uh, we have to wrap it with the text. So I'll just do it. Text will be fruits at index. And then we have to uh, define also a background color of this dismissible. Let's say if I'm swapping towards right, then what should be the background color? If I let me just keep it right uh, like this only. And if I just, uh, 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 save it you can see these are these are the list of these containers list of these fruits and let, let me also give this list tile some color or what i can do i can just wrap this list tile with the uh, widget called card so wrap with a widget called card and if i just save it you can see very beautiful cards are over here and i can just swipe it towards right right and i can also swipe it towards left right so now what i want to do is uh, i want to keep a background color let's say if i'm swiping towards right then i want to keep a background color and if i want to swipe it towards left then also i want to keep a background color so for that you have to define a uh, background color and secondary background color so background will be container or you can also keep an icon right so you can keep a row you can keep anything so i'm just defining a simple container let's keep it colors dot red and i am defining a secondary color after this and the same thing container color colors dot green this time and let me just save it and now if you see that if i'm swiping towards right then i'm able to see a red color if i'm swiping towards uh, left then i'm seeing a green color same thing for every child uh, every list list tile right that's a beautiful thing so when I just completely uh, swipe 
uh, swipe it towards the right you can see that a simple scaffold message uh, snack bar message and if i just swipe it towards swipe it towards left then you then also you will be able to see the uh, snack bar message right so how the color is changing how this is green if i am swiping towards uh, left it is green and if i am swiping towards right then it is red right what is happening so over here i have defined two conditions if the direction is towards start to end then a red color snack bar if the uh, direction is from end to start then the green color snack bar is there right perfect amazing so i know that you may be having some doubt so you can reach out to me on my telegram channel that's open for you and not only telegram you can reach out to me on reach out to me anywhere uh, all the links are in the description you can ask any doubt so till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot